here with Mary with Allure in our county department, and you're looking to, we can't have you all go around looking with all the wrinkles, right? <laughs> That's okay. right. So look in the mirror, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, Zeomin, which is very similar to Botox. I'll explain the subtle differences to it. And uh, when you look in the mirror, do you look tired? Yes. Do you look angry? Oh, maybe a little bit. Do you feel <laughs> yeah. like you look saggy? Yeah, saggy. I feel like my, um, my eye, it just needs to be a little bit more lifted up in there. Okay. So we have muscles that make our face go down. And they can, and those are, we call them depressor muscles. So squeeze your eyes tight like your mask. You notice how that pushes your eyes down. So we need to treat that with impunity and totally block that to get you to lift. So we weaken this depressor muscle, you lift. Can you do like a wink here? Give me a wink. And that brings your eye down as well. So I'm going to treat the winking muscle and the mad muscles and lightly to the forehead muscles. And that's going to be the maximum amount of lift. And I see a lot of, we're getting a lot, a lot of new patients and they're used to getting their forehead totally paralyzed. And what happens is that you might look great that your forehead is paralyzed, but it's actually not a beautiful look. Beauty is more having a better brow position, raising the brow and maintaining some degree of positive expression through the upward movement of your brow. So we're going to do Botox. I wish you actually zoom, zoom in. Zoom in and Botox, the units are identical. Uh, this port's different, but zoom in Botox, very identical. We're going to do 25 units here, 12 and a half on each side, and we'll do eight, we call Key West style on your forehead that gives you the maximum amount of lift. So when we treat the forehead, the muscle is, gets weakened and your brow drops a little bit. A lot of women have experienced this heavy brow. And the way to prevent that is first off using less units. Secondly, treating the muscle that pushed down first so I don't have to, to bite that muscle. And thirdly, we do what's called intradermal injection rather than intramuscular injection. So if you inject in the dermis, in the skin, it doesn't penetrate to the deeper fibers, so you maintain lift, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference between Zeomin and Botox? Um, they're, they're almost exactly the same. So Zeomin was invented, was actually FDA approved in 2010, and Botox was first FDA approved in 1989. They first approved Botox for muscle spasticity of the neck. And then in, the, in 1997, they kind of changed the formula a little bit because they were having too many problems with developing antibodies to the Botox and wouldn't work as good. And in 2002, they came out for wrinkle Botox. And they haven't changed it much since that time. What happens is it's not very often, but there's Botox has got the neurotoxin, so it's a toxin, it's a copy of something in nature. And it's also got proteins that serve no purpose. And you make antibodies to the proteins, which eventually can render the toxin, the neurotoxin, useless. So the solution is then you start escalating the dose, or in some cases it stops working, you have to get holiday for a few years. And it's not, again, not very often. It occurred a lot with the original version of the Botox, not so much anymore, maybe about one, two percent, if that. Zeomin was created with none of these proteins, so it's more of a clean toxin. I don't sound ridiculous, a clean toxin, but it, it does not have these proteins on it, and the risk of getting toxin antibodies is much lower. Plus, in clinical studies, it works as good as Botox, or perhaps lasts a little bit longer. So the onset is usually about two days sooner, and it lasts about one to two weeks longer. So that's the advantage of, you get, if you did Botox twice a year, and zoom in, you get an extra month free. Right. Otherwise, they're, they're indistinguishable in terms of how they work and how you dose them. There's another toxin called Dysport, which actually is totally different. It functions differently. I'm, I'm not crazy about it. It's a good product, but I think it spreads too far. So I'm gonna use a little tiny needle, it's a 32 gauge needle, lay your head back. Squeeze tight like you're mad. So I'm gonna inject into your procerus muscle. Then into what's called the depressor supercilia muscle, bilateral. Depressor supercilia. And then your corrugator supercilia, which is really the one that causes the 11. And people are concerned about the 11, but really I think more about the position of the brow. We want your brow to raise. You relax. Now I'm going to do your orbicularis muscle. I'm going to use 12 and a half units on this side. And right in the tail of your eyebrow, this gives lift. Two and a half units there. Finish up to about two and a half units. So this is a much more concentrated form of Botox or Zeomin than we normally use, so I have to give it a couple more shots, but it gives me much more control. It doesn't spread very far. It goes right where I want it. Much more precise. Now the Key West style Botox is where I inject it into your dermis of your skin. So we stay above two centimeters over the orbital rim or about the middle of the forehead and inject it very superficially. Create a little bubble there so it doesn't go into the muscle. And the, and the purpose is to preserve lift as much as possible. And this is just eight units, very little in the forehead. I see way over treatment in the forehead, which leads to this uh, dro drooping of the brow over time. It's sort of an expressionless, fake Botox look, which is 
worn very famously by somebody in government in the state of Michigan. So that's the Botox brow lift, and that'll make your, your brow will lift up, takes about two weeks to kick in, it'll get better for the next two weeks, and then it stays pretty stable. And actually, in this case, this is GMN, this is the exact same thing. I'm used to using the word Botox, and I've been very happy with that product for years. Thank you very much. All right, well, thank you.